Weren't you scared? Didn't have time to be, love. Just knew I had to do something. Uh, Jess? I'm texting Belinda. Oh, I don't go shouting it about everywhere. I only did what anyone would. Oh, no, they wouldn't. Her dad wouldn't. What? Move the perf? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, what did your dad just say? Put the phone away, please. Hey, that'll be the moment one in your exclusive story. Don't take less than a million. Yeah, hello. No, mate, you want seven double two seven. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I'm gonna start a, a bloody, bloody cab firm. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you meeting them? Uh, Crosslands, then maybe the Bull. Come down if you want. Is Charlie going? Doubt it. Tends not to bother now, his management. Hello? Anyway, all he wants to talk about is property prices. No, it's the wrong number. Look, I'm telling you, it's the wrong number. Bye, sweetheart. See you later, Shakespeare. Oh. So was... And they say the 80s weren't fashionable. <laughs> <laughs> It's not difficult to respect a man who's sporting a Kevin Keegan bubble purr. <laughs> Harry and Kathy's firstborn, oh, baby Aiden. Yes. Oh. When he came out, Harry says to the nurse, God, he's hung like a baboon. Oh, the nurse says, that's the umbilical cord. <laughs> then along came Jess and made the family complete. Some say that 20 years it's more than you get for murder. But when you see a bond as strong as theirs, you realise that marriage is a union of friendship, as well as love. A union based on respect, trust, and mutual understanding. Yeah. Oh, who's that handsome looking there? <laughs> and so it falls to me, as the man who's known them both longer than I care to remember, to offer you our warmest congratulations. So please join me as I raise a glass and say happy anniversary to our beloved friends, Kathy and Harry. Happy anniversary! There you are. I've been looking all over. Raj. Hey, don't blame me. It was her idea. Anyway, it's just a little bit of laughing, guys. <laughs> Ooh, my husband doesn't approve. I thought we could finish with our song. Yeah. This time. Why do you have to get so drunk? You know what? It's called having a bit of fun, and, and you should try it sometime. You can hardly keep your eyes open. Fine, forget it. Happy anniversary. for two years, Harry. Look at her! Look at her! That's your doing! Worth it, was it? She thought it was a fling. Thought it would burn itself Mr. out. Mr. Bleeding Respectable. Mr. Pillar of the Community. Well, didn't want to hurt you, Harry. You even did the bastard anniversary speech, you useless piece of shit! You were my best. 
friend. They say I'm supposed to talk. That you might be able to hear me. Well, hear this. I know about you and him. About all the things that you got up to behind my back for two bloody years. And I'm angry. Because I trusted you, Kathy. Trusted both of you. And now you're lying there half dead. And I'm supposed to wait like the loyal husband. Well, screw you. Screw you, Kathy, because you don't deserve it. What about me? What about what I want? I thought I'd swing by to see how your mum was doing. That's more than my dad'll do. He's got a lot on his plate, Jess. It's not easy for him seeing her like this. She needs him. He'll come round. What are the doctors saying? They're running tests, telling us to stay positive. That's good. Listen, I want you to Rose. You want some time with your mum? Oh no, stay. Stay and talk, she'll like that. Well, the rest of us are hanging around waiting for whatever comes next. You're not the only one with that life on hold. If it was me, I'd want you to pull the plug. If I couldn't speak, if I couldn't move a muscle, I'd want you to put a pillow over me face. Hold it there. Or are you thinking that Charlie's going to look after you? Is that what you're hoping? Good old Charlie's gonna push you around in a wheelchair, feed you through a straw, carry you upstairs to bed every night. I can't see it happening myself. Still, yeah. you may be right. Can you hear me? Kathy. It's like a complete blackout. I've no memory of the accident at all. Which is for the best, I suppose. I'd been to see this new client. I remember that, out near, um, near Bishop's Gate. Sports injury, lots of back pain. Uh, we'd had a chat over lunch, a couple of drinks. Why didn't you tell me about starting the private portfolio? I didn't think you'd approve. Personal training, house calls and that. Your boss said you've been doing it for months. I felt the right fool. You know how things are being between us, Harry. They just give us something else to fight about. It's 
been a long time since he undressed me. Before the accident, we hadn't had sex in months, had we? It's not man and wife. What happened to us, Kathy? Dad, when you see Charlie, can you ask him about that job on the vans? That reminds me, I must ring Abby. What does Abby want? Suggested a night out for the four of us. Will you, Dad? I don't think that's such a good idea. Why not? Dad! Aiden, college comes first. Why is it not a good idea, love? I've already said yes. They're asking me. Mum, will you ask him? It's just a couple of drinks. I'm sure I can manage an hour in the Cancel it. Mum, will you ask him? Look, if Charlie said he'll get you a job, he'll get you a job. You know what he's like. He's a man of his word. Shut it! Just shut it, the bloody pair of you! You were this close to dying. They had to cut you out of the wreckage. It was 50-50 for days, weeks. The kids crying themselves to sleep, terrified in case you never came round. And what would my abiding memory have been? Loving wife, caring mother? No, the bitch was having an affair! She was having an affair and she got killed on the way home. He told you. He didn't tell me. I worked it out! Who else knows? Who else knows? Not, I'm sorry, or please forgive me. Who else knows? Of course I'm sorry. Two I... years! Two bleeding years of sneaking about and telling lies. I've got to hand it to you, Kathy. You did a cracking job. If you hadn't got yourself smashed to pieces, I'd never have suspected a thing. Do you love him? Say the words. Do you love him? No, it wasn't about love. Actually, about... don't. I don't want to hear it. You don't see him. You don't speak to him. You don't give me the slightest indication that you are still in contact. Otherwise, that's it. It's over. And believe me, Cathy, I will be watching every uh, phone call, every text, every bloody after work drink. I will want names, I will want places, and if any of it so much as smells of that bastard, I will blow the whole thing sky high, and I will make sure that everybody knows exactly what happened, especially the kids. Because there is no way that I am coming out of this as the villain. How many rashes is he getting? Got to keep his strength up. The things we talk about. It was never just about sex, was it? It wouldn't have lasted two years if it wasn't. 